Well I've been working on uh, further dismantling the forks um, so I can get these bushes off. Uh, they're held on by this um, by this nut on the end um, and actually this one came off uh, fairly easily this was the non-rusted fork leg and so that's um, that's all ready to to dismantle and um, so I can get new bushes for that <coughs> This one, however, was a bit of a bugger. So this is the one that was rusted, and the um, uh, the end nut was seized on solid. Um, and the only way I could get it off in the end was with the acetylene and a set of uh, Stilson's you know, pipe wrench onto it. So it's a bit knackered, but probably still usable. But the threads are a bit um, they're not great. Have a look at those. If you can see that, um, so they're a bit in a bit of a sorry state, and it's a bit chewed up, and it was very rusty. But fortunately, the, f the leg itself, if you can see the threads in there, and they look they look okay, and a bit of damage on them where the rust has. The water's got in and it corroded them, but um, but it all comes to pieces now. So it looks like I need a set of bushes and um, and one of these. So I'm gonna go and see if any of that's obtainable. So I think that's as far as I can take the forks at the moment. Uh, so I'm gonna just put them back together again and put them to one side till I can get the parts and um, carry on and work on something else. I think today I'm going to start having a look at the uh, at the rear mud guard and see what I'm going to do to uh, to get that to fit. More later. Before we go on to look at what I'm going to do with the rear mud guard, um, I've also been tidying up the uh, the triple clamps and things for the fork, so I'm painting them. So there, these are all looking a lot uh, a lot more respectable. So they're all um, they're all going to go into the into the uh, waiting to be assembled pile. These will come out very nicely. Very, with some acrylic uh, acrylic enamel is uh, doing a super job actually. Very happy with how these are coming out. So, so these are all uh, all pretty much ready to go on. So um, the next thing is to uh, go and see if we can sort out what's going on. Uh, with this uh, rear mud guard. Okay, the next thing to look at is the uh, is the rear mud guard. So this is the one that was on the uh, on the bike. Um, I haven't cleaned it up or anything yet, but it's steel, chrome plated steel, and it's fairly pitted. And it's also been modified somewhat. Um, it's been cut off here. It used to be probably, you know, another six inches longer than it is now. Um, and it's obviously. Uh, fractured across here at the back again another victim of the vibration on the bike I think um, so it's in a pretty parlous state so um, I've managed to obtain a stainless steel mudguard so this one um, don't know what it's come off but it's it's the right it's the right size for it um, got holes that are probably in the wrong place and it's got a split at the back here which I've got a friend who's got a TIG welder, so we might have a go at just TIGging that back together again. Or if that doesn't work, we'll still solder it, but that's repairable. So I've got to see if I can get this to fit on the frame and, um, and take this uh, to pieces. It's interesting, the wire that's going from the, from the rear light comes through onto the inside and is held together by the... Uh, it was held in place by these welded on clips and I, I don't see how you can get you get this underneath those well, I guess you, you take it off the other way but I've got to unthread that wire take all these bits off and then um, then have a go at fitting this on the frame and seeing 
where it fits and where it doesn't and what holes I can use and what holes I've got to fill up or hide or something. So that's going to be the next project. So I'm trying to work out where, how far down the uh, mudguard has to has to protrude down the back. So this is a uh, picture of uh, Victor Special that I found on the web, and you can see if you look at the side panel here, you can see that the that the mudguard comes down maybe a little bit below the line where where the side panel is so it actually protrudes quite a way down at the back um, so I'll have to see how that looks uh, how it looks on the bike so if we have a look at the bike here the frame so I've got the frame here and um, this is where the side that's the but where the bottom of the side panel is is oh, it's just here so if we project that line across, it's actually going to come down. Let's see if I can stand back a bit. It's actually going to come down around here somewhere. But um, where this bolts on, that's pretty much at the full extension of where I can uh, where I can have it. So it looks like it's going to end up being a little bit short, but we'll have to live with that. Um, but that's about where it's going to have to be. So one of the things that I've been looking at is it's a slightly different top radius so this top bracket is going to need some adjustment so I think that's the first job is to change just change the radius of that bracket so that it seats up nicely against the mudguard and then um, and then we can drill some holes if we have a look at the bike again uh, let me just get my uh, my tablet so I can see what you can see. Now we'll look at the bike again. One of the things that I'm missing is there's a bracket here that bolts onto the rear shock top mount uh, to stabilize the um, the rear mudguard. I don't have that bracket so that's going to have to be something that I go and see if I can uh, source from somewhere. Another thing to find to go with the chain guard that I don't have um, but a few other bits and bobs. So, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to have a go now at adjusting this, uh, uh, the radius of this bracket at the top and then see if I can actually fit the mudguard and see how it looks. Okay, so after some um, gentle persuasion with a, with a big lump hammer, I've managed to, um, to get that radius to be pretty good. I've got it lined up on the centre mark there. So I'm going to drill those and then I'm going to bolt it into place. And then we'll have a go at, um, at marking and uh, drilling those holes and getting those done. Well that's it, um, that's it fitted and the holes drilled and clamped into place. Um, looks looks all right. It's nicely nicely centered. Um, use my trusty step drill to drill the holes. Um, now interestingly, the uh, the rear light actually well, the rear light has um, which goes uh, which goes on here which goes here. Uh, it has two has a backing aluminium casting on it which goes behind it but there are two versions of it well actually there's about five versions of it and I've got two of them um, so this uh, this goes behind the behind the rear light and this short version the missing bracket goes on top of goes in that recess at the back there so on top of it and then there's also this uh, this larger version which goes behind it in which case the bracket that's missing goes underneath it so I'm not going to mess about with trying to fit this until I've got that bracket and decide which one is the, the, the best option so that can all that can all wait for a while so um, 
So here we got uh, we got a rear mudguard on now. It's got to do some tidying up on it, uh, but that's a nice step forward to be able to have that ready to go on. Um, and uh, I think that's probably about it for today. Um, coming up to five o'clock, so I'm going to knock it on the head there. <laughs>